Hey and welcome to the tutorial for today, this is going to be a programming one because we haven't done some programming in such a long time and it's all new today, this is Eclipse so it's Lady Dark Maggot but it's Lady Not but this is going to be in Absolute Java this uh, Eclipse is an IDE standing for Integrated Development Environment uh, this is going to be the thing that runs the Java program and compiles it, compiles all your spoken word into code, so the written word I spoke and that'd be weird if we spoke code we'd just be talking in ones and zeros but yeah so if you go to file new when you've installed Eclipse Eclipse is free and it is absolutely awesome IDE I use it all the time for Giava I'm not sponsored by Eclipse or anything like that and let's call it a project name so today we're just going to do a simple text based adventure it's only going to be a little one it's not going to be too big so if we go to next we're going to use uh, gay to se 1.5 for today's tutorial you can use other ones as well the versions this does support it. it depends on the version although we're not going to use too uh, much on the library we're not going to use too much all. so the first thing you can see that's different is the overall look of the IDE compared to something like Visual Studio Express as you can see at the top it's got a bug for debugging it's got a small green arrow for run ads which is going to be our main run at the bottom we can see because I've been using a bit of Android lately that's why it comes up in Android Bill Kings once I've debugged and that's going to be the output from what we've been Ah, so if you go from here I'm going to new we can then as you can see the side I've got two open I'm just going to delete this and because that was something I was messing around with this is the thing I've just created if we then go into the sorts new and then go into class uh, everything from here so you want source folder this gets the folder it's going to uh, go into package we can give it a package name so we can access it later that's fine we don't want to enclose and type uh, name is fine uh, we want a public main that's important to click and that's everything from there so type name is empty we can just delete that for now create it blank uh, so let's give it a name texty because that is a proper professional name don't do that uh, so we can now run and it doesn't do anything because obviously there's nothing happening at the moment because I've not put any code in from here we can create a string we haven't got in the, date, uh, the imports I need the capital that was my fault and we can then name that uh, text and equals blank for now and that comes up as you can see that as a completed line in Java so well done if you've been following this and done your first line in Java code or if you're a seasonal professional you've probably done a lot many lines in that <laughs> but yeah that's our first line so now we can add a scanner this is the main way of getting text involved and in input in from the user input from the user sorry about my stammer so we can call it scanner s equals new scanner and then from here system dot in and that will record a new scanner and what that basically does is it allows anything from the user to be taken into it so it could be text or anything and it will wait for the user to respond later along so we've just created a new uh, scanner think of it like that is the object that's going to take everything in from the user and we've just created that object but we haven't told it any commands yet so that's what we need to do next so we can then do system dot out and I've already sort of thought of a story before I did this tutorial uh, you 
are in a room. It always starts with you are in a room. You see a book. Do you want to read the book? It's always north, south, east or west. But for today we're just going to do a simple tutorial. Alright, so we've got first error. Let's have a look. Errors are very important. We shouldn't discount errors. So that's why I never leave them out in the actual tutorial. So what I needed to do here was just put print line with just ln and now I'm just need to make that small and here we go and that prints that out. So let's have a look at it in action shall we? Let's run this and run it at the bottom. You're in a room, you see a book, do you want to read the book? Obviously there's no interactivity yet, so what we need to do is either put yes I want to read the book or no I don't. As you can see here, Giava comes with IntelliSense, so if you don't really know what you're going to put, just have a look at the IntelliSense. As I do know what I'm going to put, it's going to be next. There we go. Just trying to find the bloody thing and then it will take it in. So, obviously we need to go for and take that in so we know what it says. So we just put our string as we declared above and make it equals to it. So we now need a yes or no answer. So if we go if s the text rather and we put a dot, we don't put an equals onto this and then we look around I know what I'm going to put but I'm just showing you how to read off IntelliSense which is often very good for a beginner to know what they're going to say next So then Max is yes. We could also have capital uh, small letters, but we'll do that another time. And let's just say uh you read the book. Uh I'm never going to look at the sales of a uh, paint cart the same way again or if we can copy that for quick notes and if we go no we have a capital so I need to remember that the book uh, you did not read the book you instead decided to go to the monster instead to be eaten. I've got no idea what I'm putting right now but that's not the point of today. If I was known for my storytelling I'd probably become a famous author but I'm probably not going to ever be that. Alright uh, and we can put yes. You read the book I'm never going to look at uh, sales of a paint cart in the same way again. Well, if you don't read the book, we can go no. You did not read the book. You instead decided to go to the monster and said to be eaten. I've got no idea what I'm writing. But still, that's been our Giava tutorial for today. I hope you've very enjoyed. You can download Eclipse. I'll give you the link in the description to download it. And you can have some fun with it. 
as you can see here the hardest part I think was to be creating a new scanner and to get the input from the user and they're the two points that we want to view today so I've been Lone Wolf, I hope you've enjoyed this and we've been Games Defined <laughs>